Hey guys, Machines and Mal here. Just want to show you this uh, front mount trailer hitch receiver. Um, I picked this up in the summertime for my uh, second gen Dodge Ram, my 96, and uh, it's a 2500 model. And I wanted to put a winch on the front because it's a two wheel drive truck. Uh, and sometimes you get caught particularly now it's winter time here it's about minus eight degrees and it's snowing outside so i thought what better time to get on the ground in the wind and install a front hitch mount receiver uh, to plug my winch into so i've got a winch in my other shop an eight thousand pound worn winch that's going to slide into this and this apparently bolts to the front of the truck so you can see right here where this hugs the the frame the front frame and i assume this runs up somewhere we're going to find out shortly because i'm going to crawl underneath the truck this is model number 65003 by um kurt oh sorry no draw tight kurt was the other option but when i researched them i found that this particular model by draw tight is designed for a winch uh on like uh specifically designed for a winch and it had a much stronger uh line pull than the Kurt did. The Kurt looked more like it was designed to maybe hold a bicycle rack or something. But anyway, this one had a uh, max line winch pull, 9,000 pound rating on it, and uh, 500 pound um, cargo capacity. So technically, I could build a dirt bike mount and put a dirt bike on the front of my truck with this thing. The Kurt one was a lot less. I think it was 250 or 300 pound. Um, like tongue weight and uh, I don't think it even gave a, 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 a pull rating so this this one looked better to me I bought it I just actually noticed when I pulled it out pull it out from under there guys that this I don't know if you can see that in the video but this ear is a little bit bent maybe it got dropped or something at one time but anyway this one's straight uh, I bought this online guys I can't remember what I paid for it I think it was about $200 and they shipped it to me. It was a hitch website. I'm sure if I looked in my email, I said uh, I could find some some information as to where I got this. I only found the two models, guys. I found the was it the Kurt and the Draw Tight, and uh, the Draw Tight one just looked like a better unit to me. So um, here's the install kit that it comes with. So there's some instructions. And a bunch of hardware some washers and stuff what i'll do is uh i'm gonna stop the camera and lay this all out so we can take a look at it and uh do a quick quick read of the instructions then i'm gonna pull my truck inside the shop and get some light going and see how long it takes to install this thing hopefully it doesn't take longer than an hour because it's freezing out there guys i just want to get the winch on the front of the truck i can run it off jumper cables if i have to um, but kind of excited to see it on there so i'll be right back when i get this laid out all right, guys, so I unpacked the package it came with and sorted out the hardware. It doesn't look too involved. And I just took a quick read of these instructions. And uh, what it says to do is to remove the, um, the front sway bar bolts. So I guess there's four. One, two, and there'll be two more on this side. Three, four. Drop the sway bar. Slip the, slip the bracket, these, into into the position where the sway bar was and then push the sway bar back up and install these four metric one two three four metric bolts um torque them to rating as a 35 inch pounds and then it looks like they want you to take these two these two bolts here and install them through the frame from the inside through the uh through the bracket so through that hole right there and uh put this plate on the on the outside followed by a nut a, a washer and a nut so it doesn't look too complicated guys um i'm just gonna pull the truck in get some light set up underneath of it. it says here that you might have to cut the fascia you can see there's the bumper and underneath is the fascia i think that has already gone off my truck i'm not sure but anyway we're going to be building a bumper for this truck down the road anyways and i want to make the this and the winch installed on the tray part of the bumper so we're going to be cutting up this bumper up anyway so if we have to cut it we got a zip cut we'll cut it but uh, i'll be right back so just going to take a quick look underneath the truck here 
and show you the mounting points. Oh. So what you got is, uh, that's your sway bar right there. There's sway bar mounting point number one to the frame. And then the sway bar runs across to sway bar mounting point number two to the frame right there. And according to the instructions, what we gotta do is we gotta remove these bolts. So there's one at the front and one just behind. And the same thing there, drop this sway bar down and then slip the hitch uh, over these bolt holes, push the sway bar back up and replace these bolts with the ones in the kit. Now also notice down at the end, you can see that oval oblong hole. I assume that that's where the hardware passes through for the, the side piece, the, the part that I said that looked a little bit bent, probably sits right about there. Now this truck has the fascia, the lower, the lower piece below the bumper here. And according to the instructions, we're gonna have to cut a hole here for the, the hitch mount to poke through. And obviously, I don't know, that looks kind of close. We'll see, this might be in the way of, of the, the winch, uh, the tray that the winch sits in. So unless the receiver is long enough, we'll find out. I'm just gonna undo these two sway bar bolts and those two sway bar bolts drop this down and then I'm going to put the the front receiver onto a uh, jack and jack it up into the front of the truck and we'll just see how everything lines up. So I got the uh, sway bar undone, two bolts on each side which was pretty easy. Bang them off with the DeWalt there, two there, two on the other side and then just slip the pry bar between it and pop this off. It just hung down just like that. Now you can see we got our, our hitch sitting on a jack. And we've jacked it up under the truck and we got bracket lined up at that end right there. And we have the same thing on the other end. And as you can see, as it's coming up, our receiver is now contacting the fascia. So uh, they say to remove the fascia. It's these Torx 30 Torx bits. There's a whole bunch of them that run along the edge. I'm going to give those a try, but I remember on the other truck I used to have, these were all rusted solid. So I'm probably just going to end up trimming a, trimming a hole with the zip cut for that to slip up into. But uh, anyway, I'm going to give that a try. Turn the camera back on in a sec. So we're under here now, and I managed to get this thing kind of loosely bolted in. Um, got the two, the two replacement bolts and washers that came with the kit holding the sway bar bracket onto the, the the bar bracket and then actually up in here I don't know if you can there you can see it a little better um, it didn't state in the instructions but I actually had to remove the rear so there's there's front front right there and rear right there uh, bolts that hold the bumper on I had to remove the rear ones uh, in order to expose the, um, sorry guys, in order to expose that hole there, as you can see, they've punched a hole large enough. I guess there's irregularities in these frames um, to reach this. So now we've got the, the bolt that came with the kit uh, coming from the inside. So there's one of those cone washers up underneath it here, up through the back there. And then it actually comes with a little plate like this, which sits on top like that. And then they give you another little uh, cone pressure spring washer, sorry, which goes about there. And uh, then you've got your nut. So I basically set the same, the same thing up on the other side. I've got the, the two bolts holding the, um, holding the sway bar bracket to the tow bar to the frame and now I've got the the um, this support clamped to the frame through the rear bumper hole the rear bumper bolt hole that's the front one the rear one and I've pulled out the jack as you can see so we've got our oh we've got our our front hitch installed um, so now what we got to do is sort of gently go from fastener to fastener and snug these down one at a time. Probably do them to about 30 foot pounds each. So one, two, three, 
and then the same side do one two three thirty and then maybe 60 foot pounds i think is what they were recommending for for these two and then i think it was about 40 foot pounds was recommended for those two it said in the uh on that sheet that i showed you at first when i started the video so anyway um obviously the fascia is not going to um fit back under there without being cut i'm just going to leave it off for now guys it actually came off i'm surprised it came off without any of the bolts spinning or breaking uh, none of these j nuts snapped and i mean they were rusty and they fought a little bit but they came off with the 3 8 impact pretty easy uh, so what i'm going to do is tighten this down and then uh, i've actually got a winch on a tray at, a, at my other shop i'm going to zip over there before it gets too dark out i'm going to slip it into the front of this thing and see how see how high off the ground it is how it looks how it comes up against the bumper and uh, yeah so i'll turn this back on shortly when i've got a winch to show you guys installed in this receiver well here we are at the lawnmower shop and i got my winch my warren m8000 and it's sitting on a tray like a removable tray and the um the stinger i guess you call it is a little bit too long so that um two by two solid steel uh piece of metal goes all the way to the end and it's hit it's hit the end of the pipe where it's welded to the cross member so it needs to be shortened probably about that much um, off of this end off the back so this slides back you can see there's one hole there which is supposed to line up to one of those two there's actually another hole you can't see it but it's it's right right behind here so it's close to this one but i think probably we're going to end up being able to get this uh, first hole back to here if we take out that much material it's all the way back here um, I don't have a zip cut here at the shop big enough I got a little tiny air one uh, this is gonna take a bigger zip cut actually should probably do it in the bandsaw but anyway we'll, we'll figure that out next day but just just to give you an idea that's how the um, the winch sits on the front of the truck like that um, you can see it sticks way too far forward so we're we're gonna make some adjustments to this uh, next couple days hopefully i'll get the big zip cut and um we'll trim that we'll slide that back i've actually got a uh i brought it with me i've got a pin lock here so you can actually lock that uh can lock that shaft to that receiver and then this thing will be a little more difficult for anybody to steal but we're also going to have it wired and have these wires connected up um we've got a couple controllers for it but anyways guys just thought you'd like to see that i'll turn this back on tomorrow when i trim that and slide that in and install it a little bit a little bit closer to the truck